Selling a property is a major undertaking, especially if you've never done it before. The process could be time consuming and emotionally draining. Just thinking about all the steps involved in listing and selling your home can make you nervous. You may also feel overwhelmed by the fact that you must remove the majority of your personal possessions in order to prepare your home for showings. The process is unlike any other financial transaction in your lifetime, which is why it's easier to make risky decisions that could sabotage your home sale. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications for more real estate tips. Today's video will be part of a two-part video series where we go over four risky moves homeowners make when selling their home. After watching these videos, you'll be able to avoid these risky decisions and be well on your way to a successful sale. One, not getting a real estate agent to represent you. It may be very tempting to sell your home on your own, given all the knowledge and resources available, but nothing beats the expertise of a real estate agent. Houses sold by the actual owner and not real estate agents are known as FSBO. The only thing with these types of transactions is that they lack an agent's expertise and direction. To put in perspective, FSBOs, according to the National Association of Realtors 2021 Profile of Home Buyers and Sellers, sold for a median price of $260,000 compared to $318,000 with the help of an agent. A smart agent looks out for your best interests, especially when it comes to setting a competitive selling price and negotiating offers so you may obtain more money. Two not preparing for closing costs and fees. In the process of selling your home, there are many fees you should be prepared to pay as the process comes to an end. Though many closing costs are the buyer's responsibility, as a seller, there are also fees to be paid, such as homeowners association fees, property taxes, and title insurance. Also, you can be asked to pay escrow, brokerage, and courier's fees. Three, wasting money on unnecessary renovations. Better looking properties attract more buyers. For this reason, many home sellers fall into the trap of over improving their homes. Before spending money on any renovations, talk to your real estate agent to make sure you're spending wisely. Sometimes sellers focus on fixing things that at the end may be superficial to the buyer. You also need to consider the disruption to the household, unexpected costs, and the general headache of dealing with the remodeling process. Your agent should be able to provide a list of repairs or suggestions to better prepare your home for sale, including easy but low-cost improvements, like adding a fresh coat of paint and improving your home's curb appeal. Four, setting an unrealistic sell price. One thing that many sellers tend to do wrong from the beginning is setting high list prices. Though this may sound like a good idea to get the most out of your investment, but in reality, this type of strategy involves a lot of risks. Setting the price too high can make you spend a lot of money on potential buyers who cannot afford such a property. Many buyers are really educated in the market and will be able to sense when the property is overvalued and these potential buyers will be steered away from your property. This can lead to your home being listed for longer than intended, which leads to potential buyers thinking there may be a problem with the house being on the market too long. Remember to always ask your agent for advice on selling prices so you also don't end up undervaluing the property. We hope this video has helped you understand what things to make sure you avoid when putting your home for sale. If you have any questions or if you're interested in buying or selling a home, please call us. The Garcia team is always happy to help. See you next time.